important tip to remember when planting for newly planted trees is the watering in regards to the large volume of water that they're going to want. So you can see here we planted a silk floss tree this afternoon and you have to remember that underneath the ground here in Phoenix it's dinosaurs were probably roaming the earth last time that three four five foot underneath the ground saw water here so after the tree is planted you can see the size of that berm the well around the tree I'm going to fill this probably three times so I've done it once now and it's starting to drain it's draining fairly quickly actually I'm gonna hit it again and then I'm gonna hit it again because the surrounding soil is very dry and that surrounding soil is gonna suck away a lot of the moisture that we want to make available to the tree so not only are you watering the root ball in the tree itself but you're wanting to soak the surrounding soil four, five, six foot out in each direction, three, four, five foot depth as well too, to encourage the roots to grow out and get quicker root establishment. If you're watering only at the base of the tree, well, the roots don't have a reason to grow anywhere and therefore the tree won't grow. So a nice wide water pattern and you want depth and that's why I'm gonna hit it three times today. Now with a good 12 inches thickness of mulch on top, which will be coming here shortly, I could get away with a once a week-ish water, even here in our summer, even when it's 117 degrees, because of the thickness of mulch, the depth, also the large volume of water I'm giving the trees. You'll notice there's no drip lines. I do have bubblers in place, although I have not used them yet. I kind of like being in control of the water. Put the hose out here for 10 minutes on high and see what it's gonna get. So a lot of water especially for newly planted trees, especially heading into summertime. Like I said, you're not watering only the tree, but also the surrounding dry soil. If you have any questions, please ask in our Facebook group, Living the Green Life. Have a good evening.